Right. This is the floor the High Priestess gave me the key for. At least I don't have to go looking under every rock for it this time.
Should I go to bed?
need to find the key. This looks like a key to the next level. Here's a question, fellow newcomer. Does Fairhaven's history fascinate you too, or is it just me? Yes, it does. Fairhaven may be small, but it's complex. My feelings exactly! So many people from the world over have come to the island. You've gone quite deep into the mines, haven't you? I find that place especially intriguing. There was once a thriving mine operation down there, but it halted quite suddenly not too long ago. If you find anything in the mines that explains the place's history, will you tell me? That's kind of vague, but, uh, sure.
Everyone, I'm sorry. It was my idea to break into Town Hall. I thought so. Nice work. And I helped. I'm sorry, too. Thank you, novice. The town of Fairhaven has had the Keystone since the mine operation shut down. I've been asking for it back, but I can't explain how something belonging to me wound up in the mine. Acolyte? Novice, you put us in danger. However, you are also right about something. We've been too cautious towards the gloaming. But we can't afford to be cautious any longer. The Wellspring needs offerings. Hear, hear! <sighs> I was afraid you were gonna kick me out of the coven. Course not. We can't let go of anyone or we'll be too weak to turn the seasons. Also, we're too dang fond of you both. We'll make it up to you. We promise. Thanks, you two. It's time to change the season. Are you ready for autumn? I'm ready. Let's do this. Wonderful. Everyone, take your positions. By this flame. And by this sacred sign, be this the essence of the divine. We call the spirits of the harvest. We call forth the healing power of water. Once again, we turn the wheel of the year. We say farewell to the maiden summer. And we welcome autumn. Wow, a fallen leaf, just like that. <gasps> what happened? Was it a vision, Farseer? The town is soon to be beset by a dark force. What dark force? Did you see who it was? I couldn't see it clearly. But it's the same. It's the vision that first brought you here, isn't it, Farseer? We've long known this day would come. What day? What's happening? We'll discuss this later. The Farseer must rest. We all should get some sleep. We will need all our strength to prepare for what lies ahead. Like storms that make the river sing, fill my magic from the spring.
bed? Did you hear? This is too good. What is it? Someone's running against Mayor Soft, the new guy. Marty, what's his name? Otto thought he was just going to coast to victory, but not anymore. <laughs> You got my silk then here it is homegrown mulberry silk oh fantastic and i appreciate you letting our worm friends take the time to hatch from their cocoons on their own fancy joining me for the first flight sure see the balloon is set to pop at just the right altitude then the parachute brings it safely back down so we can read all the data neat if this launch is a success, I might give it a go in that strange forest past Parker's workshop. Reckon there's plenty to see over there. Ah, uh, thanks for your help, Tara. I'd know I'm new here, and it was right decent of you. So you've got an election on, yeah? Yup, Mayor Otto is running for re-election. Hmm, seems like a nice bloke. He did help get the bridge fixed. Well, actually, that, uh, I... But I don't have much of a say, I reckon.
Greetings, neighbor. I hope I can count on your vote to keep Fairhaven strong. Um... Er... Here, take a button. Tara, this is incredible. Hey, Lena. I heard the election is coming up. Oh? Yeah, I suppose it's that time again. I would rather stay out of politics, honestly. But I'll be interested to hear what the new fella has to say. I'm really thinking about voting for Marty. And it's not just because I haven't had to source meat from off-island since he got here. Wait, do you think he would give up the ranch if he became mayor? No, he loves shoveling animal poop all day. No, he doesn't. He hates poop. Maybe it would be better if Otto stays mayor. Oh, brah. And how are you finding our fair town? I hope it's going easier for you than it did for me when I moved here. Why? What happened when you moved here? I was paddling back out after catching a bomb and riding it inshore. Uh, this noob dropped in on me and bam! Uh, smashed right into my shoulder. Ooh, well, at least it sounds like you had an epic surf day before the accident. That I did! It was firing that day! I never doubted that I would get back on the waves. I just had to wait for Dr. Syed to give me the all clear. Then I started working for Sheila, who used to run this stand. Uh, when she pieced out to retire in Milkwater, I took over. Glad you're here. Stop by anytime.
I heard Mayor Soft's got some competition this year. Oh, are you thinking of voting for his rival? Huh, fat chance. With any luck, when that greenhorn loses, he'll leave town. Time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast.
Hi there, fellow farmer. You may have heard that I've thrown my hat into the ring for the mayoral election. I hope you're ready to build the new fair haven of the future. I do seem to build most of the things around here. That's the spirit. Here's your animal. Now, what would you like to call her? Chimkin. Well, that's not what I would have called her, but suit yourself. I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Inside, I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Key to the next level. Thank <laughs> you. 
What's inside I cannot see. I'll open you up and set you free. Look at the head scratches. You heard about the debate coming up? I sure did. I didn't think towns this small had political debates. Oh, trust me. Growing up in Fairhaven taught me that there's no town too small for local election drama. And uh, speaking of drama, <laughs> I have an idea that'll make the debate unforgettable. Oh, this should be good. Let's hear it. Oh, I knew you'd be interested. I don't want to hurt Otto even though he's hurt my business by doubling liquor taxes. I just think it'd be good for the guy to eat a slice of humble pie, which, if eaten before the debate, will make him cluck like the chicken he is. And you want me to make this humble pie, right? Yeah, but it's a special pie. It's got a potion. I know, journeyman, it was figurative. So, are you in? Why not? It'll be funny. Ah, uh, let's get to work, novice. You'll need bones? some silver essence, and to bake a pumpkin pie. Brew that up and bring me the draw. I'll take care of the rest. <laughs>
Is it time for bed? 